There's a setup behind us that's not like the usual one. Chris, myself, and Steven drive down to Florida. We got a fun little pit stop on the way. You guys probably will enjoy it. We made it about 20-ish minutes into the trip. The truck was swaying bad, uh, van was loaded up. Just not, not an ideal load. And we got a little truck, a little 1500. We unloaded it. Frank's gonna drive it all the way down. We gotta wait till U-Haul opens and hopefully I can drop this thing and not have to yank it all the way to Florida. This is a certified clusterfuck. Oh. Gotta send over uh, Frank the insurance to the van because uh, we don't have plates on it yet. So nice. oh, she's, a fresh, it. she's a fresh unit. Just bought it and we gotta get her down to the homeland. Where we can put plates on it. Well, technically, Chris, sometimes if it fitted ships, not true because this fit, but uh, it really shouldn't ship. If it sways, it doesn't ship. I mean, compared to the last roller van, we got like fresh headlights, we got some fresh wheels, the paint's fresh, brakes look fresh. I'm this, a minivan bomber, dude. This is a ripper, bro. Get the kids to soccer practice in 20 seconds, type shit. Let's hit the road, boys. Don't pass this one. Let me give you a little backstory on this uh, rig right here. This thing's been hit on curbs. This thing's been jumped over railroad track absurdly far and high and did not land square to the ground. So we had a couple bent rim. We got a cracked windshield. <clears throat> For 2022, this thing got the, uh, how do you say this properly? It got the balls ramped out of it. Spent about two days trying to get it back together. We bought a new set of wheels and tires for it. We need to get a new windshield, but we didn't because I'm cheap and I didn't want to spend $900 on a windshield. Um, what else? We got a new alignment on it. No more wonky front wheels? For, for what this truck's been through, it drives really well. Yeah, yeah. Just at 11.40 a.m., be back at 12.30 p.m. If you need me, please call me. Sorry for the inconvenience. All right. We are dropping off the U-Haul trailer because we didn't end up using it for the van. And then we're just going to whip the truck in the van. We're unhooked. We're about to turn the MPGs up, baby. We're stopping by our buddy Blake's. Blake Fitzgerald. Wow. Blake Fitzgerald. He's, uh, I don't know what, what you call him. He's a bad ass with Cummins. He's like the... He's like the Cummins King. He's uh, building up our buddy Peyton Harris's truck. Um, that teal, teal third gen that's uh, extremely rowdy, I guess, I think. Like, 1,000 horsepower now that I they're redoing it? Looks it looks like it gets down. He bought uh, Gabe's manual swap fifth gen. I'm pretty sure the last time I talked to him, that thing's like in 10 quadrillion pieces. <laughs> He's also got the fifth gen, the white single cab that has like 300 miles on it. That's ridiculously sick paint matched my color too so look at the van the van's not even wide do you imagine driving a dually <laughs> these roads are legitimately probably we might be a little eight screwed. maybe nine feet wide so calm and nice it just makes me want to like go in the middle of the field and do donuts or like a stop into a burnout or something ignorant like too calm you gotta spice it's, it up yeah look at this perfect we're, timing that's we're, the coolest fucking road i've ever driven in my entire life i had to stop That dude is on the side of the road. Hey, buddy. I think we've officially made it to the uh, Cummins capital of the world. Yeah. It looks like One, it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, good. How are you? Oh, a little bit lost, aren't you? A little bit. How's it going? How are Steve. you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Dang, this thing's clean. What's Peyton going to do with this thing? He's going to ruin it. I'll tell the rest of it. <laughs> this thing's all over social media right now. Uh, yeah, I love this. This is my baby. Nice. Well, was my baby. Pretty crazy. Yeah, no one believed it for a really long time, and uh, I don't know. I mean, it worked out because all the parts I had ordered for it, he bought, and Perfect. I got I got paid to build it. Can't beat that. Well, that works out good. Yeah, love you, Peyton. Hell yeah. <laughs> love, love you for that, Peyton. And kind of let me go wild on it a little bit. We didn't go too much. I mean, it looks pretty close to done. What are we working with? What kind of work do you do? Uh, 150 over injectors, 12 mil pump. We did a bunch of powder coating. Uh, we painted most of the engine that we could get to because it was just straight rust. Because oh, yeah. it's a it's a third gen, man. But that's a 472 
uh, forced inductions, turbo, steel speed manifold. Hell yeah. King speed billet valve cover. It should make like 800 wheel. Sick. Kind of, That's going to get down. Oh yeah, it's going to have a fire pump comp too in it too. Well, it's already in there. Sick. But, so it's still on the column shifter, but he called the other day and told me to order a ratchet shifter set up for it. So. That'd be sweet. That unit. That'll be sweet. I'll be here. Tell when Peyton gets it back before he does something stupid and messes it all up. The first day. Immediately. First day. Yeah. Sounds like Is he going to make it? <laughs> sounds just like Peyton. Immediately. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. He'll probably try and drive it home, knowing Peyton. And you know, these these are toys. You, you, you <laughs> kind of trailer them around and drive them a little Peyton bit. Peyton doesn't understand trailer. He just no. drives stuff. He was like, "Oh, I'm not gonna drive this." So when I sold it to him, and it had like 147,000 miles. And it's already got 150, and he only had it for like a week and a half. Yeah. So he was driving the piss. So ba he's, he's not scared to drive. He no. looked at it, we'll be like, "Oh, what are you doing this weekend?" Oh, nothing. He goes, "I'll come up to the shop, just hop in the truck and." Yeah, drive from Tennessee to Michigan. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, you want to drive it? I'm like, he's, he's letting everyone at the shop drive it. I'm like, what are you doing? But he's like, I don't care. I'm like, all right. <laughs> 14, 15,000 miles on the Huracan in like the month or two he had it. If I had a Huracan, That's I'd be like, take your shoes off. Yeah, I'll, let you, I'll let you sit in the passenger seat. No. Yeah. So here's, he's <laughs> don't care touch right. anything. <laughs> he's basically... That thing came over and I've never seen a Lambo with so many bugs on it. Like, <laughs> you don't you know how bad that was? No, he's... Look at the interior of that one. Satan? Learn how to clean up, dirtball. Come on. Uh, his limited that y'all did the work on, when we were putting the train horns on it, <laughs> I opened like the passenger door and there was just shit falling out. Yeah. I, I literally, I forced him on my YouTube too. That's to clean your shit, Peyton. Mad stretch on them boys. She's missing a little bit of How fast is this been? Uh, I think when the previous owner had it, I've never had it on drag strip. Oh, really? Um, I've sled pulled with it and done dyno events. But uh, I think the previous owner had it like mid five. Yeah, this one will make about 17 wheel. It's got two kits of nitrous on it. And it's got 400 overs. That'll do it. Like, yeah. What is supported in the block in these things? When the blocks like that just explode. These are, this is sleeve block. Sleeve? Yeah. But like if you want to go next step, we've got this guy in the corner. Just big dick in it. Big dick in it? This big is big. wild. The $35,000 engine. All right. Just it. I see build parts. Yeah, so this is a this is a deck plate motor, and what it is is they make everything an inch taller. You see this inch steel plate? Mm -hmm. The engine's actually an inch taller, so your wow. push rods are longer, your uh, rods are longer, and apparently it makes the block a lot stouter. So wow. it's got sleeves, and then it's got this steel plate on top of it. Yeah. And they'll hold a lot more power when they have a deck plate. That's wild. So this engine right here, it's got pistons set, it up, set up in it for like a street truck where you can drive this truck around and not have to worry about cracking the piston because yeah. it's like race pistons that aren't meant to take heat all the time. Yeah. But like this one's rated for about 15 to 16, but you change the pistons and this engine will take over 2,000. No, yeah, that'll be plenty of fun. It's white, my color too, so. You can just tell us when you're done with this. Yeah, yeah, this, this ain't even mine. Who like manufactures this? D and J. So they do everything from porting the head. Um, if you'll notice how big the head studs are, yeah. they, they mill the head out, yeah. the holes in the head and the holes in the block for, I think these are 916 head studs. They are giant. Wow. Bro, that is, that's they beefy. Are giant arms. Uh, here's reference. This is a normal head stud for a Cummins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh... I mean, you can see the size difference. That's a little different. You yeah. versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Single will be together soon? Uh, we're hoping to have it run in the next month, but we got it in and that was a stock 5.9 truck. So a lot of the sensors and the and the location and the placement of a lot of stuff was different. Yeah. And then it has a side draft that's billet. So we had to go to a 6.7 rail, 6.7 lines, 6.7. I was say, how's the intake going to fit it? Yeah, so it's the same head that was on that truck, so you have to really modify the intake tubes on there. So we're gonna have to build all the piping. Perfect. But That'll be fun. It's got some fat compounds over there on the shelf that are gonna go on. It'd be a good time. If this <laughs> can do, that's for y'all. I've been saving that until when y'all came. Um, we, we're getting screamed at on TikTok for stepping on that right now. Perfect, get everybody to step on it. Yeah, well, so like I guess people didn't watch the video. See how it was crinkled and rusty in there? Oh yeah. Finger, fender was already screwed. So we came out here and we just stepped on it and stomped it. And TikTok was like, why would you ruin a good fender? Bad ass, dude. Oh shit. Oh, whatever, buddy. Oh, questionable move for the frog. Come on, little guy. 
You don't want in there. Oh, uh, don't fall down in there. You're, you're going to die if you go down in there. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> RIP to that. Cancel. He's yeah. canceled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Frog? Frog legs are good, bro. They're going to eat me alive. Yeah, for real. <laughs> That was so, like, anticlimactic, too. He found his way in there. I mean, he'll get out. He's done. He's totally <laughs> that looked like suicide to me. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we got this whole big park along. There's a burnout pad. Can we test it out with the minivan? I mean, <laughs> I would watch it. So that burnout pad's a 20 to 50, and I want to triple it and then get some bunch of dirt barriers so you can have a burnout pit. So yeah. People can just go wild. Hell yeah. Do whatever they want. Uh, yeah, so the, the idea with this place in the next year or two once we have more events and it generates more money is to have like probably every other month events like play this in cars yeah but for diesel guys yeah pretty cool you know where a chance where you can win cash prizes do yeah. all sorts of stuff also we have all the land around this so we have 60 acres right here wow so we have that lot back there that big gravel lot that's our trailer parking we have this lot up here this is like uh spectator parking well and when you this start is the show when you start that we'll find a burnout truck if we can store it here and we'll come here every time and blow it up and then you can fix it so we'll blow it up again. we need to get y'all in on the thing that me and gabe are going to do i tell them i want to take 10k a piece to buy a diesel burnout truck you buy what you want i'll buy what i want that's what i told them and we're going to do like a build it series and we're just going to buy random trucks off marketplace I already found like a rusted out six feet cummins because you want a manual one or you're going to kill the train we're going to build burnout trucks I bet. How, do, how do i sign up I bet. yeah we have a testing area you know for our new mods <laughs> i mean if we have to i mean i plan on spending seven or eight grand on a truck and then uh i've got some spare nitrous kits and stuff and i'm just going to run a bottle in there and have the bottle in the pasture seat and crank it up. i'm gonna have frank stand outside the truck <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Wide open. <laughs> Well, yeah, so the, the point is, is to gather sponsors that want to be a part of them and go to all these events, even maybe go to a couple of Cletus and cars and like yeah. just we're rip literally, some burnout trucks. We were literally just talking about doing a burnout truck. Yeah. Sure. That's why I like living here is you're in the middle of every show. How many miles on it? Five, four. Wow. <laughs> Offers them an ignorant amount of cash and it goes home on their trailer. What? 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 Can. Can. Wow. Is the burnout? Will uh, fit in my ten thousand dollar budget for a burnout truck? Uh, one burnout would probably cost me ten thousand dollars. <laughs> so. Damn, that boy goes quick. Yeah, got solar panels, toolbox up here, few nice. straps, all LEDs. We build these here in Kentucky. We're in Tennessee right now, but uh, the factory is probably two and a half hours from here. Nice. And uh, yeah, we built them. LEDs underneath? LEDs everywhere. Uh, my personal one, I'm putting a bunch of lights on, but I've been trying to talk them into like putting a row of lights in the center. Ooh, Show badass. Off the cars Light up what you got, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, These dude. Are pulled down. Uh, removable. Fully removable, that's one of the best parts. Both yeah. fenders come off, and you can actually put a full size diesel truck on them. I've done it. A full size what? Diesel truck. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, dude. Battle of bone, that dude. Sick I don't think I've ever seen a hydraulic uh, car tilt trailer. Like I haven't that. seen something move that fast either. That no, nice. I don't think Yeah. Yeah. Way what's better than ramps. What's the solar panel charge? Uh, it charges the batteries for the hydraulics, and then it's also got a built-in lamp. Sick, dude. Yeah. Self-sufficient, dude. It's like a self-sufficient show trailer if you put lights on it. This one's been outside right here for two months. Not and not plugged in. Badass. Yeah, all the time. This is the one we use as a demo for customers. Oh, but like, if you have a blowout too. Yeah, that's nice. On the side. And then it's got a spare tire right there. That's mint. That's nice. Hell yeah, dude. That little trailer? Absolutely. Or and or cost. Uh, retail is about 93, huh? That's not bad. Nah, I mean. When you load a car up, how you doing it? You throwing the car up there? Put the park rig on, getting out and lowering it? 
Yeah, or if you have a buddy with you, you can just slide it down. Is it like a like a wired remote? You can actually. Yeah, there's there's a uh, wireless remote key fob you can get nice. to where if you're on your own and you, you want to lower it down while you're up there. Yeah. But most of the time, if I pull a vehicle on there and I'm by myself, I'll have the fenders off, pull Jump up, out. hop out, let her down. Yeah. So if it's a really really low car with a lot of ground effects, you can put race ramps under the end. Yeah. yeah. Let it onto it. Go That's right up on it. We we put a Viper on one. And you know how well they are. Yeah. You guys no never shit. have any uh, cool ramps out again? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be sick. That's what I was looking at. Just chucking the, uh, we do know somebody in the market for a car trailer right now. <laughs> Who's that? He's got sunglasses on top of his head, and you notice I don't. And it's not Blake, so there's only one other option. I just like buying shit, man. Dang. Ah, hold up. Just getting ignorant. Up, up, up. You don't want to see what's on the oh, 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 oh. 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 Sounds like it. I mean, ZR1's gonna do burnouts like that, man. Does ZR1 can't do a burnout like that? What? <laughs> Making clouds of black smoke for blue. The way mine's I mean, doing, we might... could, dude. We could make it blow black <laughs> smoke. It just wouldn't last very long. <laughs> I've tried to break it. Really? Yeah. Let's go look. Let's try to it now. I bet you. You know what the thing is? Give me the keys for <laughs> no, ten no, minutes. You, not I'll you. Say. Give me the keys. I can break anything on accident. That's true. I'm the master of breaking shit, not even on purpose, so. You see it starting to make new holes? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it started peeling back. Chunks coming out. So perfect. what's uh, what's done to it? Uh, so it's a Laramie six-speed truck, loaded truck. Um, it's got a S472, 150 overs, 12 mil pump. So it's literally Shoo. the same. Same, same exact setup as Titans. Same Rock truck. lights under the hood? Yes. Uh, that's pretty hard. There we go. Did you said S472? Yeah, S472. That's exactly what I had my, on my uh, 6.7. Is it? Except I didn't have the, I had stock injectors. So the guy oh. did all the work and then he's like, stock injectors, I'm like, huh, ah, sold. I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Throw the 150 overs on top of the 472 and you have a raging burnout monster. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Is this new merch you got on? Uh, what do I got? Oh yeah. Solid. Oh yeah. Show a little clip of that boy. It looks yeah, clean. It's a JTX Credo. Nice. Because that's the only wheels we run. I don't run a lot of JTX too. Yeah. Yeah. What design is it? Them boys. Um, it's cool. just the drip design. Nice. It's the only one that looks anywhere near it. But yeah, okay. it looks pretty clean. Yeah, we got we got a little bit of merch coming. Working with some merch guys over here. Sick. Trying trying to get on that own boss level, but you teach you how to do it. It's because you're not having enough print your merch. That's not how you're not there. <laughs> is this a is this a proper wheel and tire machine? Uh, that's old faithful, bud. She's done more wheels than any of us can count put that's together. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've had this since I first started. Well, when did I buy this? What, four or five years ago? It's been around a while. Probably done 10,000 plus wheels. Jeez. I guarantee it. There was That's one crazy. time when we were doing probably 25 wheel entire packages a week. That's a cash cow. Oh, yeah. No oh, this, this 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 hey, There's right. always new tech, right? Uh, I want one of those Hunter Road Force machines. Do you uh, let your, your customers know that uh, the trucks can tip over with those tires on them? No. That's their own risk. That's at their own risk. Yeah, that's their own risk. That's not worth it. <laughs> I want to say thank you for giving us a tour. No problem. Yeah, it's been fun. Thank you. Just say, hopefully we'll have even more cool stuff next yeah. time we come. Or y'all might be moving to Tennessee. I know. I Wait. mean, it, you wouldn't have to yank my arm too hard. <laughs> I mean, We've had a lot of fun here so far. It's pretty nice here, man. Here, it's pretty sweet, man. You're two hours from Nashville, Gatlinburg, Knoxville, everything. Yeah. There's plenty to do. And what's, the, what's the next event we got to make? I'm either going to have one end of this year here or beginning of next year but as far as other events ucc ucc First ucc June, ucc probably the biggest and baddest diesel event of the year like if you like horsepower that's uh that's the event where everybody like breaks all the records every year well again thanks for having yeah. us out this was super appreciate sick. y'all for coming it's so good nice. seeing y'all thank you. you since florida yeah, it's been a little bit cool cool well let's get out of here before we spend any more money 100 yeah. <laughs> <laughs>